Hey everybody, it's Brian. Um, sorry I haven't posted a video in a long time. Uh, StarCraft 2 came out. As a result, I had some important uh, scientific research to attend to for a couple months. But now that I'm completely getting owned in the game, I thought I'd make a new tutorial. So today we're going to start C++. What is C++? Well, C++ is a programming language. And as you can see, if you Google C++, there is a wealth of information out there on this. Now, I'm not going to get too much into compilers and IDEs and what you should and shouldn't use. I'm just going to show you the raw language. And my hope is we're going to get through this part very quickly and then jump directly into Qt programming, which, you know, what is Qt programming, you may ask. Well, Qt, um, also called the Qt framework, is a product of Nokia. Actually, I'm lying. It was bought by Nokia. It was a couple, I think, Finnish gentlemen that invented this, and it's a cross-platform uh, framework for C++ that runs on Linux, Mac, Unix, um, just about everything, really. I mean, they're even building it for Migo. Uh, basically, it's similar to Java in the sense that it's cross-platform, but it's much different because it is C++ oriented. So what is C++? Let's go back to this. Um, C++ was invented a long time ago. When I say a long time ago, I mean back in the 70s. Um, let's go back one more. Sorry, I'm kind of scatterbrained. It's been a while since I've done one of these tutorials. So if you go to Wikipedia, C++, maybe if my browser ever loads, um, you can see that it was invented by a man named Barn, I'm going to horribly bastardize his name, Stratops? Stratops? If you can pronounce that correctly, email me. Let me know the correct pronunciation of that. Uh, that's this guy right here. As you can kind of see from the picture, he looks like he doesn't really get out a whole lot. Let's kind of zoom in here. So this charming young man here is the one who developed C++. What can you do with C++? Well, anything. Yes, I mean anything. I mean, this browser you're looking at was developed in C++. The picture that this was taking with the source code on the device that runs this was C++. Um, chances are most of your home electronics are C++ under the hood. Even things like Java and .NET and Python and Perl and all those on the core are C++. Now somebody's going to get mad and argue, no, they're not C++, they're C. Well, C and C++ are very compatible, so you might as well just call it C++ at that point. Now, if what I just said totally confused you, you have to understand that originally there was a language called C. See? Strostop, however you pronounce his name, began developing C++ in 1979 and then called C with classes. See, there was a language called C. He added these extra classes and called it as a joke C++ because, as you know, the plus plus is the increment operator. So he was saying it's C plus an additional version. So you have to be, like, super geek to get that joke. So if you're laughing, you should just, you know, log off the computer, go outside, and get some sunshine. I did that for a few months and it was uh, it was horrifying. I ran back to my computer as fast as I could. So for these tutorials, just know that C++ is the successor to C, and the++ is actually a joke. It's like C incremented one time. Um, there's a ton of resources out there. Just go to Google, type C++, and you will see all tons of stuff out there. Now, for these tutorials, you don't really need any programming experience, but I am going to whip through these fairly quickly. Um, I'm going to be using Microsoft Visual Studio. You can use whatever you want as long as it's a ANSI compiler. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically, just don't get anything weird. If, it start, if you're running along with the tutorials and it starts generating all sorts of weird error messages, try a different compiler. Now, for those of you in Visual Studio, you just go File, New Project, and then we're going to create an empty project and we're going to say D drive test. You have to just give it a little name here and we'll call this template. Read only contains device names. Huh. Well, shoot. Mm -hmm. Select here. There we go. For some reason it didn't like that. Anyways, this is our project, and as you see, there's absolutely nothing in it. So once you do that, you need to go New File, 
and I know this seems a little bit tedious, but I'm only going to do this once. Um, the succeeding tutorials will have this already in there, but that's how you get a empty C++ source file in here. And we will save that. Um, thank you for watching, and in the next tutorials we will start going through C++ rather quickly.